Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 14 of season 2 of our Lazio career mode here on FIFA 20. In today's episode, we have two big league games. Away at Inter and then at home to Napoli. After 16 games, Inter top of the table having an unbelievable season and they sit 10 points ahead of us. Napoli in second, did they win their 17th game? Yes, a 1-0 win at home to Cagliari. So they move up to second place on 40 points. Let's see who Inter have while we go up against Napoli. It's the Milan derby. So if we can pick up three points against Inter and then against Napoli, we can do our part and hopefully... Milan can do us a favour and pick up one or three points against Inter at the San Siro in that derby. But Milan, not having a great season, are they? They are 17 points behind their rivals. And their defence this season is absolutely atrocious. They've conceded 22 goals. They've scored a decent amount, 35. But yeah, their defence is really, really bad this season. Compared to Inter, 9 goals conceded in 16 games. A big, big difference. So I think in that derby, Inter are definitely the strong favourites. But it's, it's derby day. Form basically goes out the window, doesn't it? So hopefully Milan can step up on that day and pick up some points for us. But we have to do our part and pick up six points in both our games today. So let's go to the San Siro and do our best to pick up our sixth away league win of the season. Zahar on the ball, forward to Christian Eriksen, and he's completely done Emerson, and he's got quite a bit of space to work with here, he's got two players to aim for in the box, Christian Eriksen is running back, and he's played it all the way back into Matip, back into Christian Eriksen, it's been a very good start to the game from Inter, and as I say that, we win the ball back, and look at the space ahead of Emerson, Seven minutes gone. Can we open the scoring here away at the San Siro? Emerson nearly gets taken out, but he stays on his feet. Plays it short into Felipe Anderson. And what a block. And we've won possession back immediately. Demisi on this left-hand side into Cataldi. Now a Mobley, and it's a fantastic turn onto his right foot. And once again, a Milan player is in the way of the shot. 11 minutes gone on the ball, Inter have dominated, but we've created the only chances away at goal, but unfortunately, the two shots got blocked. Wallace on the ball, very good pass out to the fullback on this left-hand side, over the top to Lukaku, here we go. And we turn inside with the winger, yes we can. Going to play it short into Milinkovic, Savage gets blocked and it's ended up in the back of the net. 16 minutes gone, we've opened the scoring away at the San Siro Nangolan on this right hand side up against Demisi and he's using his strength very well the interman across into Lukaku and Wallace gets it away and it falls nicely to Felipe Anderson short into Milinkovic Savage forward to the captain right hand side now is Felipe Anderson and this is very good play can we grab our second goal Felipe Anderson is still going short into Lukaku. Brilliant save. It falls to Felipe Anderson, who is offside. It's a very good save from the keeper from this Lukaku shot. It's on his weaker foot as well, Lukaku. And he struck it sweetly, but unfortunately, Handanovic pulls off a very good save to keep the score at 1-0. Cataldi picks up the loose ball into Jonathan David now and he's going to strike it on his left foot and Handanovic once again in the way 32 minutes gone we are upping the pressure 
to grab our second goal here at the San Siro. Lukaku with the cross and it's a good delivery in Mobley. Just didn't connect with it properly and it's a simple save for the keeper. And the score remains 1-0. Martinez on the ball, plays it short into Romelu Lukaku and Wallace gets in the way of the cross. It was an inter man charging into the box who Lukaku was trying to find but thankfully the big centre back gets in the way of that pass and it is the first corner of the game for Inter and it's not a great one we get it half away Godin lays it off to Lazaro now Matip into Lazaro once again short into Lukaku and thankfully it's a woeful effort towards goal and an easy save for Strakosha and after 42 minutes the score remains 1-0 Eriksson on this left hand side for Inter, it's a fantastic turn and a very good cross in Lukaku with the header and that is a fantastic chance for the striker. That really should be 1-1 but thankfully it's really a poor effort towards goal from the striker. Lukaku on this left hand side into Cataldi, Jonathan David, Cataldi once again with the long range effort and it's a decent one but a very good save from the keeper. 10 minutes left to play, 10 minutes left to play, 10 minutes played of the second half and thankfully we still lead by a goal to nil. I'm just desperate to grab a second goal and get that bit of breathing space between the two sides. Cataldi on the ball, left hand side is Demisi into Immobile, to his right hand side is Jonathan David and it's a good save from Handanovic and he celebrates like they've just scored a goal into because he knows how big that save is to keep his team in this game. An hour played, Cataldi with the cross, and it's an easy clearance, but we are going to keep this attack alive. Falls to Emerson, short into Wallace. Look at the space here for Andre Anderson. Oh, Handanovic, what a save that is. Brilliant effort from Andre Anderson. And look at that save. Wow, 63 minutes gone, we get another corner, Cataldi whips it in, and once again, they get it away. Falls here to Emerson, short into Wallace, once again into Andre Anderson, oh, bottom corner, what a finish from the youngster. 65 minutes gone, into Neil, Lazio 2. What a huge win this would be. Should Handanovic be doing better? This is a perfect angle. No. That is just an incredible finish from Andre Anderson. We are 2-0 up away at the San Siro. This would be our sixth win on the road this season in the league. Andre Anderson on the ball, short into Vavro, now Milinkovic Savic into Jonathan David, back into the midfielder surely for 3 now and 3 points and it's a poor finish. Oh Milinkovic Savic should have buried the game and he's done that. That is woeful. What a big win this is away at the San Siro, we've handed Inter their first loss in the league this season and we fully deserved it this is our sixth away win in the league and only our second clean sheet on the road in the league this season up next we have Napoli at the Stadio Olimpico so let's do our best to make this the best episode of the season so far by picking up another big win on the ball for Napoli, decent pass into Henderson, Lucas back into Mertens now charging towards this left hand side, plays it into Fabian, this is decent play from the away side, looking for the opening goal, Fabian is still going, a shot with his left foot and thankfully it's a decent save from the keeper, five minutes gone, very bright start to the game from Napoli, 
Semedo on this right hand side for Napoli. It's a decent run here from the fullback. Plays it short into Jordan Henderson. And it's a very good tackle from Milinkovic Savic. And it falls to the fullback. Now Felipe Anderson into Milinkovic Savic. Brilliant pass into Cataldi. Jonathan David. Left hand side is Lukaku. Low and hard. Bottom corner. 1 0 to Lazio after 12 minutes. Totally against the run of play as well. Brilliant football. And what a finish from Lukaku. Let's just hope we can build on this lead, grab a second and take control of this match. To pick up six points in today's episode would be absolutely massive. Jonathan David on this left-hand side into Demisi. Now Cataldi. Can we find Milinkovic Savic? Yes, we can. Beautiful couple of touches. And the shot isn't great. If that went in, that would have been one of my best goals ever on FIFA. Beautiful first couple of touches. But yeah, finish wasn't great. Now to the goal scorer on this left-hand side. Forward to the captain. Brilliant first touch. And turn. Oh, what a finish from Immobile. Lazio 2. Napoli nil after 22 minutes. What a start to this game. Two attacks. Two goals. This is what we need to be doing if we want to win the Serie A title. Lozano on this right hand side. Plays it backwards to Semedo. Short into Fabian. Now Lucas, of course, playing against his former club. He was fantastic for us in Season 1. But unfortunately, because of his age, we had to get rid of him. Insigne with the cross. Lozano is arriving. But Demisi picks up the ball. And we are going to get the danger away. Can we find Lukaku on that left-hand side? Yes, we can. Don't need to rush. We are 2-0 up after 28 minutes. Next goal in this game, of course, like always at 2-0, is going to be very, very important. Jonathan David into Cataldi. Now Lucas, not Lucas, it's Lukaku. Now into the captain. Can we grab our third goal with Immobile? Look at the space. Immobile has bottom corner 3-0 after 30 minutes. No one closed Immobile down. When I turned it, onto his right foot no Napoli player closed him down look at this and this is why you cannot give someone like him that sort of space and time to pick out a spot in the goal Henderson on the ball for Napoli. The right hand side is Semedo. He returns into the midfielder and he's going to lose possession to Cataldi. Now into Lukaku. Out to this right hand side in Felipe Anderson. Forward to Immobile. Looking for our fourth goal. Gone for the cheeky chip and it's worked out. Lazio 4, Napoli 0. I don't know what to say. What a hat-trick from Immobile. I'm running out of words to describe the captain. Captain Fantastic. Henry on this left-hand side. It's a brilliant run from the fullback, and it's a very good pass into Insigne. Emerson is completely out of position. Insigne, Mertens, Insigne, low and hard, and it's a very good save from Strakosha. A very good start to the second half from Napoli looking to grab a goal back in this game and give themselves a small chance of getting something out of this match. It's a decent delivery in. Is it going to fall to a Napoli man? It does in the centre back and thankfully we clear it off the line with Demisi. If he wasn't there that was 4-1. Brilliant defending from the fullback. And look at that for a pass forward to Lukaku. Can we find Felipe Anderson at the far post? Yes, we can. What a pass. Decent strike. But straight to the keeper. 53 minutes gone. Can we grab our fifth goal? Header towards goal. And no. 
it's a simple save for the goalkeeper and after 54 minutes it remains 4-0 but a very bright start to the second half Cataldi on the ball out to Felipe Anderson on this right hand side decent first touch okay second overlap from Emerson a dangerous cross in Lukaku smashes it towards goal and it's a fantastic save from the keeper I'm not sure if it was heading over I think it was going in for 5-0 but we get another corner Felipe Anderson with it it's going straight to Wallace and it's a decent header he got the power but just over the goal wow that was so close to being 5-0 Lucas on the ball in the centre circle, plays it short to his right hand side in Jordan Henderson. Good forward pass into Verdi and it's a decent run using his strength very well. Lozano overlapped from Semedo and somehow the fullback has kept possession of cross in and it's 4-1 Lucas. Unbelievable. Scoring against his former side. What a leap, and it's a very good header. I don't know what the hell the keeper's doing. He's dived before Lucas has even made contact with the ball. Very weird, but thankfully, the score is 4-1, and it is still a very, very long way back for the away team. Lucas on the ball for Napoli. And it's a good tackle from Demisi for some reason. Don't know why he's in that sort of position. Brilliant play here from Cataldi. Rossi, lovely first time pass into Andre Anderson off the post. Oh, Andre Anderson should be burying that. 15 minutes left on the clock. And we're going to make our last sub. I think we're going to bring Keen on for Malinkovic Savic. Andre Anderson for to Rossi. Left hand side is Lukaku. First time pass into Andre Anderson. Can we grab our fifth goal in this game? Andre Anderson. Oh my god. What was that? My nan's got two broken legs. She can do better than that. Keen on the ball, decent pass into Andre Anderson. Left hand side is Lukaku and it's a very good pass. Can we find Keen? Yes we can, he's in loads of space as well. Dodgy first touch and it's not a great strike towards goal. But he's done well since coming on, the midfielder. He's made a few tackles and interceptions. So he's done very, very well. Really pleased with his performance. Maybe I will have to include him in the team more often from the bench. Henderson on the ball, short into the goal scorer, and he's going to lose. Oh, it's an advantage. Really, ref? Come on. Free kick to the away side. Fabian with the delivery, a header towards goal. It's going to fall to Lucas. What a save from Strakosha. And it's a corner kick. Lucas nearly grabbed his second goal against his former side, but thankfully, it was straight at the keeper. He saved it with his inner thigh. Four minutes have been played of injury time. Only three were added on. But I'm guessing when we clear it, if we do clear it, and we will, the full-time whistle will come. And there it is. Full-time result. Lazio 4, Napoli 1. Absolutely blistering opening 45 minutes with the captain grabbing another hat-trick. I believe that's his third of the season. Second or third hat-trick of the season. Absolutely incredible. Like I said earlier, before this match, nine home matches. We scored 14, conceded four with five clean sheets. And we've just scored four past Napoli. Today's episode was the best episode of the season so far. Three points against Inter. And now three points against Napoli. Two absolutely massive wins. And the full-time result here at the Stadio Olimpico is Lazio 4, Napoli 1. So after two big wins, we move up to fourth place now on 42 points. 
seven points behind Inter, so that means they must have beat Milan. Yes, 4-1. Milan once again proving they have a dreadful defence this season by conceding four goals in the derby. So like I said in the intro, all we have to do is do our part by picking up two wins and hopefully Milan can do us a favour by picking up points against Inter. So not only have they let their own fans down, they've let us down as well. Juventus in second on 44 points and Torino in third having a very good season on 43 points. Napoli two points behind us in fifth and Roma completing the top six on 39 points. At the bottom, Empoli are now on two points. Benevento remain on five, and Frosinone have also picked up another point, sitting on seven. And the bottom three have yet to play their 18th game of the season. And as you can see on the right-hand side, they're all at home. Frosinone against Virontina, Benevento against Sampdoria, and Empoli go up against Sassuolo. So it's a very good opportunity for those three clubs to pick up some vital points and close the gap on the teams above them. Next episode, Verona away from home in the league and then we go up against Virontina in the Coppa Nacional. So a fantastic episode. Like I said, I think it was after the Napoli game. Best episode of the season so far. Rizzo up to 64 and Esposito up to 67. So that's going to wrap up today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.